Like vaporwave music, aesthetics, and content? Well, if this is your first time here, click the subscribe button and hit that little bell to stay up to date with me the moment I release new videos. Floral Shop, released by Macintosh Plus in 2011, is considered to be a vaporwave holy grail to many in the community, and although some might say that the album hasn't aged well since then, with new artists, better production, and the seemingly endless and expansive catalog of music to choose from in vaporwave these days, the album has, without a doubt, stood the test of time in terms of its historical value with its use of samples crashing, bellowing vocal leads warping in and out, and instruments sounding like they're bumping into one another on this assembly line. Ultimately creating the tracklist of one of the first signature Vaporwave albums, known as Floral Shop. And I won't lie, I still find the album to be really fun, and I think a lot of people, whether you're someone who dips into the genre from time to time, or you're a diehard fan, can also admit that. It's got this unique texture to it all, despite the fact that techniques used on this album have been seen time and time again throughout a ton of future Vaporwave releases. Floral Shop will forever have this welcoming and warm charm to it. It'll always feel like home to us, an experience that will make you nostalgic for a time where you realize for the first time how nostalgic this kind of music makes you feel about the past. Nostalgiaception. This being said, we can all agree that Floral Shop holds an obviously very big place in our hearts for many of us, so that is why when news that the album was going to be pressed onto vinyl hit the internet in August of 2017, people freaked out. Like, literally flip. I've already done two videos regarding this Floral Shop vinyl, one on a review of the literal record itself, and one discussing the importance of it. But today, I'd like to take a look at the entire journey this vinyl pressing has gone through, from its initial day of announcement to the present day. And oh man, it's uh, it's definitely been a journey. Before I start the video, I would like to let you know that if you're here for some drama breakdown or a complete bashing of Old English Spelling Bee or Todd, the owner of the label, or anything like that, you're not gonna find it here. I'm making this video for the sake of documenting and pretty much examining the entire timeline of events that have occurred up until this point for the Floral Shop vinyl pressing. It's all been a very interesting journey, and by the looks of it right now, it seems like there's still a lot of this story yet to be written. I also would like to notify that I do not, nor have ever had any persuasion, financial compensation, or connection with Todd from Old English Spelling Bee, as the Pad Chennington YouTube channel wasn't even a thought yet when I initially purchased the Floral Shop vinyl record all the way back in August of 2017. So yeah, with anyways, that out of the way, let's talk about the story and the controversy surrounding the Floral Shop vinyl pressing. Alrighty, so let's start all the way back at the beginning, August 6th, 2017. Pat Chennington wakes up and checks his emails before starting the day. Still half asleep and with a cup of knockoff brand Keurig coffee in my hand because I'm too cheap to buy like Starbucks Keurig pods or whatever, I see an email titled Dragon Soul slash Human Story 3 pre-order update number 2 from the label Old English Spelling Bee. Now, I hadn't ordered any of these but I knew that a ton of people had ordered this vinyl so I was curious to see what Old English Spelling Bee had to say. As a ton of people have been complaining that they had been waiting for ever to receive their copies of the pressing. So I clicked the email, I opened it up, and I started scrolling through the email, reading what it had to say until my eyes caught the following sentence all the way at the bottom of the email. P.S. We're dropping Macintosh Plus's floral shop soon. You bet I woke my ass up at that point. Following that was a brief description of what to expect when ordering the vinyl and a mock-up picture of the vinyl as well. Immediately I froze, I didn't know what to do. Why is the news of a floral shop vinyl pressing, arguably the most important Vaporwave album of all time, sitting all the way at the bottom of an email regarding another album and not given an email to itself entirely? The pressing already seemed sketchy from first glance, and I didn't really know if I could trust myself with putting an order in. I then started to look online if anyone has gotten the email as well but from what I remember, I really couldn't find anyone online who posted about it or had any further info. That being said, I decided to put in an order because I knew, especially if it was legit, it was going to sell out fast and I did not want to miss out. As of that very day on August 6th, you were able to purchase the Floral Shop record alone for 20 bucks, or you were able to purchase it as a bundle with the Dream Castle vinyl for 43 bucks, probably because they were trying to clear up some stock and get some extra guap, and they were marked to ship out or around September 25th, 2017. I decided to just buy the individual album alone, and that was pretty much it. Press the buy now button, got directed to PayPal, my order went through, and I got my confirmation email. Still pretty shocked by what had just happened, I continued to search the internet for any 
any sort of answers as to what was going on. I mean, I had so many questions. Was the pressing sanctioned by Vectroid aka Macintosh Plus? Did the label have the rights to the samples cleared? It felt like a nuclear bomb had just gone off and I was the lone survivor searching the wasteland for anyone who had answers as to what was going on and what to do. And then, conversation online started to spread like wildfire. Reddit was exploding, people freaking out with joy, saying they got theirs before it sold out, only until the comments eventually started to change in emotion with the no I missed it comments or will there be a repress. No one really knew what was going on and that was pretty much it for a little while. It was time to clear the streets and huddle back into our humble abodes, patiently awaiting that glorious day in late September. It was a very exciting time for the genre and the community. I talk about this more in my Why the Floral Shop Vinyl was so important video if you want to see me go more in depth about it, but basically our album that represented all we love in the vaporwave genre was coming to life on vinyl record. There was a serious amount of hype within the community and it didn't even seem real. Alright, so fast forward to late September and nothing. Nothing happened so far. No emails, no notifications from Old English Spelling Bee, nothing. Many people who purchased the record had gotten a bit skeptical of the whole thing. I was especially as I told myself I had to be one of the first people to order it. It was super early in the day when I purchased it and I wasn't hearing anything about it from them so like how have I not gotten a shipping notification or anything like that yet. But nope, nothing came out of it and it wasn't until October 4th, 2017 where we got our first floral shop vinyl update from Old English Spelling Bee. Long story short, Todd from Old English Spelling Bee told us that the album was having some very slight delays due to Hurricane Irma. However, they were not only pressed and being assembled, but look and sound completely amazing. He posted a link to a Vimeo video showcasing the album, and immediately we all kind of got our hopes up again and the hype was right there back again. The update sounded extremely optimistic, exciting, informative, and it was describing how they were going to ship the orders to reminding us to double check our address information, it all seemed really legit. But most importantly, Todd said that the pressings were going to begin shipping on Friday the 6th of October. So two days later, they were shipping. That's what he said. The excitement for the Floral Shop vinyl pressing felt like it was starting all over again. Now before we continue the story, I just want to make a quick statement about waiting for a package to arrive. We all know that feeling of waiting for your package to come in, right? Whether it's clothing or a gift for someone or new furniture, whatever it may be, it's almost impossible to not constantly check your tracking number and watch your package go through some virtual shipping timeline on your computer computer screen or phone or whatever. And to many of us, I know for me, it may seem like the end of the world when a package is late or hasn't arrived on time. Now couple this with a group of people who are fans of a genre and are told that one of the most instantly recognizable albums in that genre was going to be shipped to them pretty soon. We were initially told a shipping date from a label who has previously overshot their planned shipping dates in the past and now we were given a new shipping date. Alright, a little hiccup in the road but all seemed pretty good. For sure this had to be the moment we were going to start receiving them, right? October 6th came and went and just like September 25th, people were confused as to why there was no word on, you know, their vinyl being shipped or notification about anything. Many felt like they were left stranded again, and once again no one knew for sure what was going on. Doubt started to build regarding the pressing's legitimacy, and people had started to kind of freak out. Were they going to get their floral shop pressings? The fact that many had still not received their previously mentioned Dragon Soul vinyls only helped to add to this air of skepticism within the community. Vinyl. Dragon Soul vinyl. I know. There's no S in vinyls. I know. Don't kill me. Luckily, however, I and many others received a notification via email with a shipping notification letting us know that our package has been shipped. I couldn't find the exact email in my history to reference for this video for some reason, but I do remember it being around late October. For some reason, I, I feel like it was like the 24th of October, I don't know why that date's in my head, so I'm just gonna pinpoint it there. Pat Jennington realizes his floral shop vinyl is on the way on October 24th. Boom, let's do this thing. Unfortunately, however, while some people were receiving the good news, many others still had no word on their order and still had no idea what was going on. Hysteria started to build in the community as people were debating and discussing the legitimacy of the pressing all together, mostly coming together in forums such as the Vaporwave subreddit to discuss the current situation. The initial excitement people had about the vinyl seemed far gone, and many people began the process of getting their money back via PayPal. By this point, the floral shop vinyl pressings were sold out numerous times on the Bandcamp after being restocked multiple times. Awaiting any sort of answer or update from Old English Spelling Bee regarding the state of their orders, it wasn't until the December 15th, 2017, when the community would then receive our second official update from Old English Spelling Bee. <laughs> 
This time around, the emails seem way less exciting and pep rally-ish, and way more on the serious side. It starts off with Todd thanking everyone for their patience, and that he would like to address some of the rumors and hysteria surrounding the release of the pressing. He apologizes that he had not been able to answer a multitude of the individual customers reaching out on information for their pressing, and claims that they simply hadn't had the time to do so. He also went on to confirm that these orders were definitely being fulfilled, and that any rumor that stated the pressings, or at least the remaining pressings, weren't going to happen were simply untrue. He then posted a link to my floral shop vinyl review video, and then further informed us, similar to the first update about what we should expect in the entirety of the floral shop vinyl package, and that we should also double check our address information. The email was well written and came off as sincere, however a lot of people were still pretty pissed that there was no credible evidence, nor was there a date, at least in terms of when they should be expecting their vinyl in the mail. I was definitely one of the lucky ones, and I really am thankful for getting it when I did, despite the fact that I didn't receive it for almost almost two months after the original shipping date. As time passed throughout the holiday season and into the new year, drama and controversy continued to grow as Todd from Old English Spelling Bee hit Reddit to finally answer many of the questions his buyers had about the pressing. Everything, it just seemed like a huge mess. Todd seemed to be playing and toying with his customers with comments says calling them vapor babies. I, that's kind of funny, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone don't kill me. While the customers were finding every route possible to be angry and shoot at Todd. To make matters worse, word started to go around that Vectroid, aka Macintosh Plus did not give consent to Todd to press the record, and that the whole thing seemed to be unofficial. Things got pretty ugly, but it was soon revealed that Vectroid had originally given consent to Old English Spelling Bee to press the album to vinyl, and that Todd ultimately had every right to continue with the pressing, though the current conditions under which he did remained somewhat dubious. Everything had seemed to gone a long way from the early days of August, and everyone just wanted this whole thing to be over. When were all the floral shop vinyl records going to be shipped? February eventually strolled through and surprisingly groups of people started to post pictures that they had received their floral shop vinyl records. It seemed that the orders were going out, slowly but surely in bunches, and it was only a matter of time until we would finally receive another update from Todd. And that day came on March 4th, 2018, with the third email update from Old English Spelling Bee regarding the vinyl. In this email, Todd starts off with another apology for how long the records were taking, and most importantly, that not only would all orders be filled, but all refund requests would also be filled. He then introduced that he was setting up a new store on Shopify with some of the floral shop copies and a few other Old English Spelling Bee albums, and that the sales from this would help clear out a lot of the older orders much faster on PayPal. Also, Todd started to go into detail about the delays and for the first time went in depth about the whole situation. Allegedly, the trouble began with a PayPal freeze due to the massive volume of orders initially taken in and that they set up a second PayPal account to free up the congestion, which ultimately hit the same fate. PayPal was holding a 180 day hold on the funds given to Old English Spelling Bee from its buyers and that they were dealing with blockades. But now the Shopify store would help them clear up a lot of those orders. Old English Spelling Bee then thanked everyone who had given their utmost support to the label and that quote, people have every right to be very pissed off over the long delays in our inboxes and the uproar on social media have more than reflected this. But seriously, it's been extremely encouraging when hearing from some of our more patient and sympathetic customers. Just a drop of love here and there really helps to dissolve all the hate that we're receiving. So a big thanks again to anyone who has sent us encouraging messages. So that brings us to the present day as I'm making this video in the Ides of March, and I have to say it really feels like that day back in August happened so long ago. Many people unfortunately still don't have their floral shop pressing, even those who ordered on day one. And stepping aside from the serious and objective tone of this video, I really hope you do get yours soon as the vinyl itself is pretty damn good. I do personally believe everything will sort itself out and that everyone will eventually get their order. This whole situation really shines a light on my first point in this entire video about the importance of Floral Shop to the community. People are just dying to have it. It's an album that has been a staple in the community for years, and it really seems like it will never truly get old. As much as Vaporwave seems to be evolving and pumping out incredible groundbreaking albums and musical projects, I really can't see an album with such debate, influence, and importance as Floral Shop coming out anytime soon. It's just that powerful of an album. 
then again, who knows what music is just around the corner in this wonderful world of Vaporwave. From all the ups and downs of this entire ride, the Floral Shop vinyl just goes to show how exciting of a time it is in Vaporwave history. Please check out some of my other videos I've done on the Floral Shop vinyl pressing for more about it. I absolutely love this pressing and I spin it quite frequently. Have you gotten yours yet? Let me know in the comments below. Much love, your boy, Padge Hennington.